Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Uh, I want to do a mermaid inspired design. Now I saw on Instagram, I hope I say her name right, her name is Alina Hoyo, Hoya. Anyway, she's amazing. Check her out, amazing. But there was another design as well. Um, there was no watermark or tag, like name tag or anything on it, so I, I, I can't say who it was. Um, but I'm going to try and get both of those designs into one, sort of inspired from both of them. So I've got the McCart Nail Pump Ups XXL Full Cover Ballerina Nail so far, and I've um, filed a free edge and buffed over the surface of the nails. I'm just going to give them a quick base coat and then we'll crack on with the design. Okay, so they've had a Madame Glam Soak Off base coat cured for 30 seconds and then I'm going to do, I'm going to have, what we're going to have, we're going to have white on this one. So I'm just going to do this one first. I'm just going to use the perfect white let me see, it's blurry. Perfect white from Madame Glam. That's going to be all over that one. Using a mixture between Madame Glam and Beetles for the gel colours. And then I'm going to use some, I'm thinking, some chrome powder. Got to have crystals. Got to have crystals. Um, and there will probably be, be probably be from either I might just use a mixture of crystals as well a bit of sheen rhinestones and a few maybe crystal parades as well we'll have a little look through what we've got what will work once the designs are done so I'm going to pop that in for 30 seconds and while that is cooking I'm going to do this one all blue this is 860 from Beatles. Such a nice blue. We've had some lovely weather, haven't we? Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use this purple 854 from Beatles as well. I can't remember what collection these were from. Oh, no, I do. I think they were actually called the mermaid collection. I'll find out. I'll find out. It's something mermaidy because it came with um, mermaid stickers, which we're not going to. Maybe. Shall we use them? Maybe we'll use them. I'll try and dig them out, have a look at them, see if we can use them. And while they are cooking, I'm going to do two coats of the perfect white. Okay, so I've done two coats of the Madame Glam. Oh, touched it. I haven't cured it yet. Two coats of the Madame Glam Perfect White. Two coats of the Beatles A60 and A4, no, A54. So they're going to go in for, because they're all, all together, I'm just going to do a full 60 seconds. I'm going to do half and half of the blue and the pink. I'm going to do the half of the purple. Haven't cured that blue. All right, I'm going to make sure this uh, this this brush is a little bit drier. Make sure there's no blue on there. So I've wiped it it's quite dry I'm gonna go up and down the middle blending those I'm gonna do the opposite color so blue on this side purple on that side okay so that's everything with two coats now I'm going to put some pearlescent um, chrome powder on the two ombre ones and everyone said uh, I've always done it um, put a top coat on cure it and then rub the chrome powder in but everyone everywhere that I've seen everything that I've seen um, they just put it straight onto the tacky layer and I did try that with the silver one but it just makes it like um well it just makes it silver it doesn't make it chrome 
so I'm just going to do what I normal, normally do. Top coat, give it a cure, and then rub the, the chrome powder in. Is there a different way? Do you guys do it a different way? Do you do it the way uh, I mentioned that I keep seeing, just rubbing it into the tacky layer? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I find that this always works like no, I've had no mistakes doing it top coat and then rubbing. When I've tried with the sticky layer, it just doesn't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it doesn't work for me. It's not chromey enough. Maybe I'll try and show you in a minute after I've done these. Show you what I mean. I'm going to pop those two in the lamp. Give them a 30 second cure and then we'll rub the chrome powder on. All right, okay, I'm gonna show you now. I've got two nails in black. I've just cured them. I'm gonna leave that one and I'm gonna do the chrome powder. And I'm gonna to top this one with a glossy top coat, no wipe top coat. Pop it in the lamp, just give it a quick, quick rough top coat, that'll do. Pop it in the lamp. Give that a cure and while that's curing i'll show you uh the chrome powder what i mean while it's on just the the sticky layer i don't think it goes very chrome it just goes silver no matter how many times i rub it in and then obviously you rub 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 but it's not it's not chrome, is it? It's shiny. But it hasn't got that reflective finish. But am I doing something wrong? Because that's what I keep seeing people do. They say rub it into the sticky layer. That's not rubbing anymore. I'm getting quite a lot of resistance from rubbing. So yeah, that, that's that's all I get. A dull, dull chrome finish. Now I'll show you on the top coated one. And it's instantly different. See what I mean? Super shiny. So, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with that. But I'm sticking with my, my original top coat it and then do the chrome powder. I'm running out of this. Look, that's all I've got left. These have been top coated. one I'm gonna do the pinky so those two have been top coated and they're in the lamp now the ones that we've done the chrome do you like my brush my new dusting brush it's a rose and I love that the the actual bristles are shaped like a rose and you can see it on camera very well but it's so cute and it's so soft as well it's brilliant I love it I think it was like three quid off sheen or something yes ordered more things off sheen naughty so we're going to leave those ones for now i'm going to take the blue on the middle one and some perfect white from madame glam i'm going to put a little bit on my palette we're not calling it a chopping board we're calling it an extra large palette <laughs> slash backdrop i'm going to need a small brush I don't know whether this is going to be small enough let me see I'm going to use this one the super fine one very very thin and we're going to start at the top and we're just going to do one in the middle
brushes up too much polish on. Just give them a cure, pop them in the lamp. Just give them a flash cure just in case, which I'm probably going to do now. Just 10 seconds is all it takes and then you can carry on with the rest and every like two, three lines, pop them in for a, a 10 second cure. Just to make sure that, you know, if you make a mistake, you're halfway through the nail or you're near the very end and you've made a mistake and you have to start all over again. Oh, oh I'd kick myself. Let's have a 10 second cure. I'm going to whiz through this now. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to speed it up for you. Okay, so that one is done. Let me give that one a top coat as well. So with the white polish that I've already got on the palette, I'm gonna get a little bit of Builder Gel. I'll put it in with the gel, the silicon tool. And then what I'm gonna do is on the white one, I'm gonna create, if I can with this, I might have to try another way create like a shell, a shell pattern. So we'll do one in the middle. I don't know if you can see the height on that. So we're gonna put that in the lamp for a flash cure. Do that there. Got a cure. So this is what it looks like once it's cured. It hasn't got that much height to it. I'm a bit disappointed about, but you can see. And I'm wondering if I should put some of that um, pearly pearls on it. Shall I? Yeah, I'm going for it. Just with the sticky layer that's already there though. Let's see what it looks like. Yes, I'm glad I did this. It's turned it a little bit yellow, actually. I don't know if you can see the pearly pearliness. It's not really picking up on camera. It's very, very subtle. It is very subtle. Add some bling to it. So let's get some bits out. Okay, so I've got a mixture of bits and bobs. We've got, what was this one called? Midnight Sky from Crystal Parade, Alice's Big big Adventure, some stuff from Sheen, um, some stuff from Sheen as well. Just wanted the shells. There's some lovely little shells, all different kinds actually. One, two, three, four, five, seven different, eight different types of shells in I'm there. I'm use the McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel. I'm gonna do this one first. The rhinestone glue gel, I don't know whether you know, doesn't have a sticky layer once it's cured. So even if you've put your top coat on and you've been happy with your design and then you've gone, oh, I want some gems on, it's okay. You can pop this on and it has no sticky residue left. So that's brilliant. So I'm going to put some bits on here. Let me just figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm thinking blues and golds. Um, we have really, really, really nice pearlescent ones in there. I don't know if you can see like the opaly, peachy, pinky colours. They're just gorgeous. I'm going to put some rhinestone glue gel just at the top. I'm going to take some of these gorgeous, gorgeous blues. Sapphire almost. 
It is a pointy back. That one is anyway. And there is some tiny ones, yes. Tiny pointy backs. Oh, putting my hand in the way so you can't see. Beautiful. Actually, we're just going to use these ones. These will be fine. The ones from Sheen. Don't you get sliding around anywhere, you? Yeah. And just plonk them down. Move that one back into place. Okay. That's quite pretty. Okay, and then on this one, I'm just going to add just three. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to do these two exactly the same. So I'm going to take them both off and we'll leave that one till last. It's going to have a little bit more um, gem gems on there. First one, the thumb. Come up with my fingers instead. I'm going to have that one. It is pointy. I think this is called a cabochon. Don't, don't ask me the names. <laughs> Not very good. Let's have that one there. Is there another one? I did see another one. There you are. Either side. I'm just going to flash cure them in place. Okay, I've given it a flash cure. I'm just going to get the same um, rhinestone glue gel, but it's just in a pot that I can get it into the nooks and crannies a little bit better. Try not to touch the gems that are already there. Add some pink. Okay, so that one is all finished. Very sparkly. I'm going to give it a full cure. Big one there. Two of those little curls. The other side. Too many caveat beads. Bead here. I don't think I'm going to use those coloured caviar beads, you know. Either side. Another big machine box. Either side. Where the glue? Wherever there is glue. Oh, it's so shiny. Okay, I'm going to give it a full so cure. So then for the last one. I'm going to do some pointy back ones, so I need quite a bit of this for it to sit into. This big one. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. I want it to sit on there. There we go. That's why we needed the big bit of gel, because it was so pointy. Such a pointy back. And then we'll just fill in the rest with normal crystals. And I want to add a shell. Going to add a shell. I'm going to add a lovely pale pink. That one is done. Pop it in for a full cure. So there we have the finished nails. 
They're so blingy. <gasps> I couldn't wear these at all. I would catch them on everything. But look, oh, they're so pretty. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think of this design. Everything I've used will be linked in the description box down below. Um, I have a code for Madame Glam. It's Little Nail Room 30 underscore one. I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, if you like the finished product, and do hit that subscribe button if you want to see weekly videos, nail videos. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I do hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.